All right, guys, Carlton Flowers here, Color Boss Custom Auto Body Shop. Wanted to shoot a short little video to talk about custom paint jobs. This is the 1994 Toyota truck that I did the custom paint job on. I've been working on this car for about a year, and this is not even my best work. But I get a question a lot of times from people. They ask me, hey, can you do a cheap paint job? And so there's a problem with that when you're talking about an artist like me who's a perfectionist it's hard to do a cheap paint job because you don't know where to stop and then you don't know what the definition of cheap is where the customer might think this is cheap and you might think cheap is taking a roller brush to a car and so you can get yourself into hot water by delving into cheap paint jobs now this one I spent a long time on and uh, I didn't charge enough for it, but this is not my best work. And you can see imperfections in the body. I didn't do a complete 100 point restoration on this. You can see that there are some waves in the body, um, but it looks a lot better than it did. There were a lot of big dents. This uh, back piece here was crunched in and I had to pull the metal out and do a lot of body work to get that fixed. And then when you look at the door, there's still waves and dents in the door. So this is not the perfect paint job. The paint looks great, but the bodywork is not exact. But the guy just wanted his truck painted. Now, I went overboard and put this nice design on here. That wasn't a part of it, so that was on me because I wanted it to look cool, and I did not like the original ugly stripes that came with this truck on the original. It was a sticker job where they put these stickers on, OEM stickers, Original Equipment Manufacturing, and uh, I thought, well, I'm taking the stickers off, which was terrible to get off. Very hard work. And I didn't want to just leave it bare. So I decided to go with this Coca-Cola can looking paint job. And I love stripes. That's right. I love stripes. Look at those stripes. So I decided to go with the stripes on the hood. Now, there are certain things that I did, like replacing this bottom piece, the valence. It was all crunched up and rusted. I had to put a new one on. But how far do you go with this stuff? Look at the grill. This is the original grill. Do you know how much time it would take to take that off and sand it and refinish it? Especially when you're not being paid to do that. When you're just being paid to paint the truck. So little things like that muddle the equation when you're talking about cheap paint jobs. And that's why I tend to avoid it because I want things to A, look good, but then the other key point, I want the paint to last. When you don't do a good job on the body work, the paint will not adhere to the metal and it's going to chip and flake off. It will rust, it will oxidize if you don't take the time to do it right. So let's compare this paint job to something I truly did a cheap paint job because it's my own truck. I bought this truck for $450. It was rusted from head to toe. So it was red, turned to brown from the rust. And then I painted it in my garage in one day with a Harbor Freight $99 turbine gun. Terrible, terrible paint job. But it looks so much better than when it started. Now let's take a closer look and just see how well this paint job is lasting. Do you see that rust? That rust is popping right through and there are areas where that paint is just popping right off. Why? Because I didn't spend a whole lot of time on the prep work. I've also got some runs in the paint and I didn't worry about fixing all of the hail damage. This was a $450 truck and I just wanted to use it to haul stuff around to get around town. The convenience of a pickup truck and having a shop is just uh, invaluable. And so this served its purpose. Now let's look down here. This rust was here and I didn't even bother taking that rust out. That needs to be cut out and a new piece welded in. So that's gonna rot all the way up the truck if I don't cut that out. Now I'm actually going to do some metal work and I'm gonna fix all of this that you see underneath this truck, but I'm not going to go crazy. Because like I said, this is a $450 truck that has 250,000 miles on it and the transmission is starting to slip. But I'm gonna replace the transmission and give this truck to my son so he can beat it up as he learns how to drive. So that's all we have for this episode. Thanks for joining me in talking about paint jobs. 
We'll be back very soon to show you what's happening with the other custom projects, the 1989 Corvette and the 1980 Impala. So stick with me, Carlton Flowers, at Color Boss Custom Auto Body Shop, where we just shoot it.